Hi, my name is Jen and welcome to my channel. So today I have an unboxing to do and this is actually my January pre-orders. However, everything I'm unboxing is by Mega House. So this is a Mega House unboxing. My January pre-order is actually in here. I did have two pre-orders for January. One is still delayed. I don't know when it ha when she's coming out, but when she comes, she comes. Not fast. I did have these all on surface parcel. Not this one. This is I only picked up like last week. These two I both put on surface parcel. I initially had three all these three figures all together. And to ship them, <laughs> it was via DHL. And I did write down how much it was going to cost. So, so to ship the three together by DHL was 26,395 yen. Plus the GST was 7,634 yen. So like any reasonable person would do, <laughs> I split the figure that I knew that was going to be the biggest because I'm not spending 26,000 yen on shipping. Uh, so I split them, chose surface parcel for the both and I'm fairly sure this one I paid 2,700 yen and this one 2,900 yen, not including GST. So we saved like... 20,000 yen. I just find it um, incredibly insane, especially to Australia. We only have two shipping options from Army Army, and that is DHL or Surface Parcel. All of my parcels are coming by Surface Mail because it's just a lot more affordable and I don't really want to be paying. <laughs> anyway, so yeah. As I said, these are all Mega House figures and one is a January pre-order, so I'm pretty excited to start. So we are actually going to open up this figure I picked up pre-owned from somebody in Australia. So we're going to open up her. Take two. We are going to open up her. Um, this person has wrapped it really with a lot of tape. I don't know how this box opens. Nice protective inside. So first up we have Hinata from Naruto uh, by Mega House. This was released in... 2017 and I think I got a re-release in 2018. So figure number one. Now opening up the big boxes. We'll start with this one. I think this has got the two figures in it. So I think this has my actual January pre-order. Okay, I have heard. Oh my gosh. I knew this figure in here came in a box. I didn't realize Mega House were putting all of their figures into boxes. Oh my gosh. Let me get rid of this box. <laughs> Looks like I'm unboxing more boxes. Um, in case you can't tell, they're all by Mega House. This is Jin from Bleach. Uh, I'm assuming this is Orihime. No, that's sorry, that's King Bradley, and this is Orihime. She's tiny. Anyway, 
we're gonna open all of them up we'll start with my actual January pre-order so I wonder if Mega House is doing this with all their boxes a box within a box the one and only Kimmy Bradley. Beautiful. This is actually like my first time unboxing Mega House actual like brand new, like completely out of the box. I do have a lot of Mega House figures already. However, I've either got them like secondhand or yeah, just like purchased them from like somebody else and they've all just come already unboxed. So this is pretty exciting. I do like Mega House must be doing like a different scheme. I kind of like how it's just a full box with no plastic windows. However, part of me does quite like the plastic window figures just because you can see what you're getting you can also partly tell if a figure is damaged so but i do quite like this scheme it looks very very neat so king bradley or wrath the seven deadly sin from full metal alchemist i picked him up for 18,480 yen I do know he's a very simple figure so I do think part of him is a little bit overpriced and I do know that Greed was also released last year from Full Metal Alchemist and I didn't pick him up because I felt like their bases were too different like they don't there's not like a theme to stick together King Bradley's very simple whereas um Greed had like this massive like light up base and I don't know, I just wasn't vibing them. I did think for a long time whether or not I was going to cancel this figure. However, I did go ahead in purchasing him because my dad's name is Brad. So I'm pretty much getting this for my dad. He knows that he was coming. <laughs> looking at first his base is very simple uh, it just says his name and it does have his that's his eye well under his eye patch that's what his mark is first impression he's very detailed he looks a lot more realistic he doesn't look like he doesn't look plasticky <laughs> if that makes sense he looks very realistic hands pop off nice I do know that he holds his swords the entire time you can't take the swords out to display him without the swords um, and he does come with two heads one with his patch and the other without his patch so you can see his mark and he simply just goes into the base As easy as that first thoughts on King Bradley he is very simple I do think the price tag is a little bit high considering how small he is he's non scaled as well he's roughly like between a 1718th scaled um, however in saying that he's very simple he's well detailed like his jeans have a coloring fade effect I love how they've added the crinkles into it. His, the bottom of his pants are rolled, which make it a lot more realistic. His belt is very simple. You can see the joint attachment at the back. His top is beautifully creased. I do like how you can see his muscles underneath, like his sculpted body. His forearms look beautiful. The shading is quite dark to show the muscles. However, I don't mind that. It actually looks quite nice. His hair is very nice. Facially, he looks great. The swords look perfect. There's not a lot of detail to the swords. Just very, very simple. 
His step room actually looks quite good. I thought it looked, was going to look more fake. However, it actually looks quite good. You can tell it looks like an actual stab wound. Like there's a hole in it. It doesn't go, the hole doesn't go all the way through to the other side. However, very nicely done. But as I said, very simply done. The base does look quite nice. Very simple. He will be easy to display with other figures. So yeah. Overall, I'm quite happy with him. I will be displaying him with the eye patch head. I just because I think that's more him. That's how you see him more in the series. I'm gonna go back because I forgot. <laughs> I kept holding up Hinata and I forgot to unbox her. So as I said, I did pick her up secondhand. The person was selling her fairly cheap. Um, however, he never displayed her out of the box so she's completely brand new which is exciting a very very simple base just very clear just says Naruto on it um yeah it does have the village leaf symbol you can't you can see it oh not with it but in like a plastic form. Ah, oh, gorgeous. I love her. She looks absolutely gorgeous. She slots right in onto a base. She is only one foot goes on. I do quite like it. She is much smaller than a one seven scale. She, yeah, she's closer to like a one eight scale, I would say. But she looks adorable. I love her pose. I love how it's in like a running form. Uh, her clothing looks perfect, her band looks amazing, her facial expression looks so cute. They really nailed like her eyes, the blushing on her cheek is perfect, but her sculpt is also quite beautiful. Overall, she's quite well done. Very simple figure though. One thing I've noticed with a lot of Maker House figures, they tend to absolutely nail clothing creases. like amazingly they know exactly how to detail the creasing on a clothing so absolutely perfect she looks adorable even her nails are painted very happy with her moving on to the next figure we are going to open up i'm assuming this is otohime in a way so she is from bleach and she did retail for fifteen thousand one hundred eighty yen she was released December last year. Now I didn't pre-order her. I I wasn't in love with the figure. I'm not. I did not like it when I first saw her. Um. Yeah, that I pretty much dismissed it. And then one day I pretty much told myself, all right, I'm gonna order her. If I don't like it when she comes, I will just sell her off. And then that day I went and checked Army Army and her pre-orders closed. And then I was like, no, I've missed her. So then I got really upset that I actually missed her. But um, she came in stock in about January. She was in stock. And so yeah, I was able to pick her up and that's why I got, she got shipped. Okay, first and foremost, her box reminds me of like their older series from the bleach like the rukia and yorichi that i unboxed have very similar box boxings i don't know if that makes sense anyway i like how you can see her she's very cute i like the inside of her box it's quite nice first look She's very small. Sticking with the very mega house theme, her base, absolutely clear. There's nothing to it, just her, it doesn't even say her name, it just says bleach. <laughs> uh, yeah, and it's got peg holes, or foot holds for both her feet, because both her feet go on this base. Okay, 
not gonna lie i think she looks quite adorable incredibly basic figure uh she slots right onto her base the base is quite big i'm gonna say it's it's quite round um she does look a lot better in person than her photos do which is why i was very put off for not pre-ordering her i didn't love the photos that they took of her but a part of me was like if i don't get her now i'm probably never going to pick her up so i did get her she looks great once again the clothing creases look perfect mega house has nailed how they do this her hair looks very well sculpted and i love the coloring shading gradient they've got like the darker and the lighter all put into it the flowing direction is beautiful she looks perfect her pose she is quite an innocent character i like how they've included her little hair clips into her hair just perfect possibly my biggest issue as i've said with a lot of mega houses i wish it was a bit bigger and going on to my last boy we have does it say his name i thought it said his name no just says gem series bleach anyway this is jin ichimaru and now unlike otohime who i didn't pre-order i forgot to pre-order jin i missed it and i was so upset but luckily like otohime he came into stock on in january so i was able to pick him up and it looks great He's in a massive box. If you could read I'm so confused with their boxes. They've got like clear boxes. They've got like boxes with the windows that are just recently released. And then they've got boxes with no windows. <laughs> However, the box looks beautiful. Oh. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. It looks amazing. Oh my gosh. I'm getting him straight out. I think he's also going to be quite small. However, I did see a lot of comments on the MFC page saying his box is massive, which is how I knew when I was splitting my, my DHL orders to serve this parcel. I knew straight away that he was the biggest. So I was like, just move him to, to a separate box, please. I cannot wait until Rongiku is also released. I get to display the babies together. Okay, his sword, that's his sword instructions. He looks great. So starting off with his face. I love it. Very simple it's got his name down the bottom and what series and he's from uh the base looks pretty much perfect i like how it's got the metal pole for his foot so it's only got like one stand so i hope over time he doesn't end up leaning hopefully not anyway Jin. my boy himself they give you like a little i call it a baton so that his hand doesn't close over ah okay very simple i just didn't want to break it i'm my boy's finally here let me take your head off a few inches later. Okay, not gonna lie. Both the heads look absolutely amazing. I thought I was gonna display him with his eyes closed because that's how we see my boy all the time. However, he looks 
great with the eyes open I am gonna have to decide how to display him now maybe I'll change him now one eternity later I've got him I found it so random that the Jin Ichimaru is on the side not the front <laughs> I thought it was going to be like like most bases like Orihime how the bleach is at like the front of her figure whereas Jin's is like literally on the side <laughs> how funny okay he looks brilliant I am so glad I was able to find him in stock on Ami Ami. Absolutely perfect. He looks amazing. Nothing I don't think I'd ever change. The pose looks so dynamic in the floating form of flying, jumping forward kind of motion. He looks perfect. Absolutely perfect. I like the rock formation on the base. I do know that. The other figures also being released this year which is Rangiku and Soifon. They also have a very similar base with the rocky formation so they're all gonna match and they're gonna look great. I also need to find Grim Jiao because then they will all look amazing on this rocky base. He's about roughly a 1-7 scale but anyway my boy looks stunning. Absolutely stunning. I cannot wait until all the other bleach figures come out. He looks perfect. I can't. He looks. Ugh. I don't have the words. Stunning. I don't actually have any any complaints about Jin. Maybe except that he is big and his box is massive. <laughs> So yeah, that is the end of Mega House's unboxing for today. Um, I found it quite funny that I had to unbox the Ami Ami box to then unbox the Mega House box to then unbox the actual figure box. <laughs> Three boxes I had to do for those figures. I find that absolutely hilarious. However, the end product, they look perfect together. Mega House's figures all suit each other. So it's actually quite nice to see that they do suit maybe we're not with necessarily a lot of other figures because they do have like a different proportion area however mega house are definitely one of my top manufacturers because they do my favorite series very happy with how these all turned out and i'm so excited to continue collecting <laughs> my bleach mega house series. I do hope that they... I have a lot of hope, fingers crossed, that they are still in the works of making like an Ichigo and a Rukia and a Toshio Hitsugaya figure. Please, please. Um, <laughs> I hope honestly that they bring out the entire... every single Bleach character needs a figure. done and i will purchase every single one without a thing i'd love an entire bleach section in my room because it is one of my top animes anyway that is the end for today's video my room is a complete mess oh my gosh with everything there's so many boxes now i need to clear all this up there's a lot thank you so much for watching if you got this far i hope you enjoyed seeing my mega house Bleach figures and yeah I will see you next time bye